Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another college day in the live vlog because I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I'm currently at the very end of my semester so I have a lot of presentations and papers and exams to study for. Today I have a presentation for my PR class so I'm just going to get my bag and head to school. So I just got done with the presentation. I think that my group and I did a really good job. And now I'm just in a library study room and I'm about to make a really important phone call. If you follow me on social media or have watched my video about this, then you probably know a little bit about what's going on. But I'm dealing with some issues with my insurance. And with the help of some people at Evan Lowe's district office, I filed a complaint with the Department of Insurance and they forwarded my complaint to the Department of Labor slash Employee Benefits. Security Administration and I finally got assigned an agent with them. He called me and left a voicemail while I was at work So now I'm gonna call him again and explain the situation and hopefully he'll be able to give me an override So I'm just gonna call right now. Hopefully this goes well. I'm pretty scared So he unfortunately didn't pick up so I'm gonna call him back later right now I'm gonna go to my next class So I'm done with class now and someone from the district office left me a voicemail So I'm gonna call him back and then call the Department of Employee Benefits or whatever it's called after that. Hi, this is Monica Mallon. Um, I just got a voicemail from Patrick and I was just wondering if he was in the office. Okay, thank you. So the person that I was trying to talk to at the district office is in a meeting right now, but he's gonna call me back later. So now I'm gonna call the Department of Labor slash Employee Benefits Security Administration. That's a really long name. I literally just read it off the screen. So hopefully he'll answer me this time. I've tried to call him like five times today. He didn't pick up again, so I'm gonna try to call him again in a few minutes. I've been trying to get in contact with him all day, and I really want to know if I can get an override letter. So I just got off the phone with the district office, and they said that my complaint was forwarded to the right place, and they said that if they didn't get in contact with me or had some sort of problem to contact them again, which was really awesome. Everyone at Evan Lowe's district office is really awesome and helpful and understanding and just amazing. So y'all should vote for Evan Lowe if you live in his district. So now I just have to keep calling the Department of Employee Benefit Security Administration or whatever and see if they can do something for me. So I've tried to call the employee benefits people a bunch of times and they won't pick up, so I'm just gonna leave a message and then go get some groceries and go home. Hi, this is Monica Mallon. I'm just returning your call from yesterday. Please call me back when you have the chance. Thank you. So I'm at the light rail station right now and I just got a call from my agent at the Department of Employee Benefits Security or whatever. And after months and months of waiting, I literally just got denied. Words cannot even describe how angry I am. I just don't understand why they can't give me a piece of paper so that I can have an exception and choose my own healthcare and live my life. I'll probably have something else to say later after I calm down a little bit. So I'm home now and I'm still pretty angry and disappointed. Still think that he could have just written me a letter. So it really upsets me that he refused to do anything. Even after I told him that my social security number was used without my permission and the plan had my wrong address and contact information. So there's no way that I could have found out about it. Uh, but he didn't care. I know that these people are probably pretty busy. I know that they probably have to deal with a lot of complaints, but it would have only taken like 10 minutes to write a simple letter and put an official seal on it and sign it. But apparently that was too much to ask. I'm not giving up though. I'm gonna find a way. I'm pretty sure that the next step will be at the federal level, but I'm gonna call the district office tomorrow and see what they think I should do. I really want to give a major shout out to everyone that's helped me at Evan Lowe's district office. Without them, I would have had no idea what to do. And I probably would have ended up waiting three months to get denied instead of one because they were nice enough to call the Department of Insurance and expedite this for me. I don't really know what the moral of the story is. I guess it's to be more careful, but I don't really think that there's anything else that I could have done other than getting my social security number changed. The second moral of the story, I guess, is to just be a good person and to be compassionate and to try to help people. I know that there's policies and I know that most of the time you're supposed to follow those policies, but sometimes you can make an exception. For example, at Transportation Solutions, which is where I work, we charge a $50 replacement fee if students lose their clipper cards. But if you get robbed at gunpoint and your clipper card gets taken, obviously I'm gonna talk to my manager and make an exception for you. But I think that's pretty much it, and I'm gonna find a solution to this no matter how long it takes, because I'm not gonna be 26 for quite a while. So it's a little bit later now, and I'm in my kitchen, and I'm trying to make some jackfruit burritos for the first time. I'm still gonna bake this to dry it out a little bit, but I think it looks pretty realistic. So I just took the jackfruit out of the oven and made myself a burrito with some black beans, rice, the jackfruit, corn, and avocado. And now I'm just going to wrap it up and grill it.
Look at how awesome this looks. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty nice and grilled. And now I'm just gonna take a bite. Mm. It doesn't taste exactly like pork, but it's still really good. I would absolutely make this again. I pretty much just cooked the jackfruit with some seasoning and vegetable broth. And then I just put it in the oven for about 30 minutes on 350 to dry it out a little bit. And it tastes really awesome. So I finished the burrito. It was absolutely amazing. I still have a lot left over there. So I'm gonna make some more burritos and just freeze them for later. So I made some more burritos and I'm just going to wrap these up and put them in the freezer. So it's quite a bit later now and I'm just snacking on some cherries and strawberries that I got at the farmer's market yesterday and doing a little bit of work on my laptop. So I finished my work and I think I'm going to end the video here. This morning I was just planning on filming a regular college day in the life vlog but this vlog ended up going in an unexpected direction. But that's life. Sometimes things happen and you just have to deal with them and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to be okay and if any of you are going through a similar situation you're going to be okay too. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.